Two people in jail tonight facing murder charges. Police say they're in custody in connection to the shooting death of two 17-year-olds. And as KRK4 Susan Alcori explains, this type of violence involving teens has many in that community now concerned, Susan. Victoria, Pine Bluff police say they're getting more calls of violent crimes involving teens. With this latest shooting, several neighbors tell me it's heartbreaking to see teenage boys lost to gun violence, and it has many questioning what can be done to prevent these tragedies. No flowers or memorials mark the spot. Tire marks are the only sign. When I go through there, I feel sick. But Mandy Jones doesn't need reminders of the violence that happened steps from her 25th Ave home. The bullets was just flying down here. Two 17-year-old boys died in that drive-by shooting last Thursday. And Pine Bluff police believe teenagers pulled the trigger. Officers arrested 18-year-old Carl Turner and 19-year-old Jermaine Jackson this weekend. Both face capital murder charges. It's heartbreaking. It's tragic. Across town, Pastor Derek Easter knows more needs to be done to prevent these tragedies. I'm not a product of my circumstances. I'm a product of my decisions, absolutely. Quotes line the halls of his youth center at New St. Hurricane Baptist Church. Constantly reminding them to try to make wise choices, wise decisions. Easter says the biggest intervention they do is mentoring, since many kids aren't learning the values they need. Programs where we're trying to build life skills and talk about anger management. Work he sees making a difference. The challenge is getting kids in the door. We keep working, we keep pressing, uh, we keep praying. When it comes to her family, Jones is keeping her 10-year-old grandson close. At times I tell him, you cannot be walking up down these streets. It's not like it used to be. Hoping he holds on to his innocence. Need to start getting along with each other and love each other. And try to help one another with our kids. Praying no more lives get torn apart at such a young age. There could potentially be even more teenagers involved in this case. Police are still investigating and tell me more arrests are expected, but they're not releasing suspect information since one could be a minor.